I'm gonna talk about the law of the meter. It's an idea used in object-oriented design to decrease coupling amongst objects. Uh, it's a controversial idea and we'll see why shortly. Personally, I usually refer to this as the law of train wrecks. If your code looks like this, you probably have violated this law. So what does it say? Well, it says something very, very simple. It says, talk only to your closest immediate friends. And what does it look like? Suppose we've got three objects. O, that has relationship to P, which in turn knows about an object called Q. Now, the law of the meter is a law because it introduces a boundary somewhere here. And what it says is that you cannot make transitive calls across this boundary. So talking to your immediate closest friend would in this case mean talking only to P. Now this of course decreases coupling because O will never know anything about Q. And another aspect of this is that O tells P to do stuff instead of asking. So, so sometimes this principle also goes under the name of tell, don't ask. So how is that useful? Well, basically so far, everything I've told you, you can find on the Wikipedia. However, I hope that you will not be able to find this. Now, let's say we've got a customer. Now, customers always have invoices. And let's say that the invoices are a good classic collection, which happens to be composed of some kind of item. And it goes on. Now, what we have here is a train wreck. It's just written vertically for the sake of the space here. Um, however, what's important here is that this thing going on in the middle here, somewhere, it would be somewhere around here, this is usually a hidden concept. It's something that wants to get out. It wants a name. It wants to be an entity. It, it, it wants to, to live, uh, be a being. So basically, whenever you're violating the law of the meter, uh, you can sort of start looking for these hidden concepts because they are there. And that's something really, really important. And this is what I want all of you to remember. Now, as I've said earlier, this concept is quite controversial. And why is that? Well, if we follow the law of the meter, uh, what happens is that this thing here in the middle eventually gets diluted. Because suppose it knows of some different objects here, and it still needs to make calls on O's behalf to all of these objects. Eventually, the interface of that thing here, P, is going to be very, very hard to document. And we're going to have all these strange and weird proxy methods which don't actually belong there, but they need to be there to implement this principle. So, given the awkwardness introduced by really, really following uh, this principle, I would still suggest using it with some caution. See it more as a guideline, as a direction. And if you break it, which you will, just do it on purpose, do it deliberately.